All right, I decided to do a little video on this because I looked all over the internet and couldn't find much good information, but I'm trying to figure out how to clean one of the jet burners on my brew system. And I was thinking about taking all these nozzles off, all these brass nozzles and cleaning them separately. Uh, I do have a tool that reams out it's got all sorts of different sizes, reams out the little hole that's in those uh, that gets clogged. Um, but I realized it wasn't too hard to just take the whole burner off. So this piece comes off from underneath uh, and then there's the uh, pilot that has to come off with just one bolt also. So those come off pretty easily. Uh, so this is the one I took off over here. Um, have to bend this pilot out of the way, be careful of that, that's your propane line but it came off pretty easily, so I figured it might be easy to just save myself some time and try to clean the whole thing. So I'll show you what's going on here. So this is a pot of, I've got seven gallons of PBW in there. Um, so I'm just going to a small pump, pumping back through into this thing. Um, you can see, I won't lift it up too high, but it's doing a pretty good job ripping through all those, all those nozzles. I'll turn it off for a minute so I can show it a little better, but I Frankenstein a little adapter on there. I just needed to get from half inch to a tri-clamp, but uh, this was the first thing I <laughs> put together, so it works. Um, so that's just in there running through those nozzles. Um, and I've also got that other piece floating in there somewhere that came off. Um, yeah, this guy, this has little little holes that come up through the top and, and feed feed the flame more protein, <laughs> protein, propane while it's burning. Uh, it fits like that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna run this for a while and see how it works. Uh, I don't know, run it for like an hour or something. Then I'll flush it all with hot water, let it dry, uh, hook it back up. I'll run my burner and uh, check back in and let you know how it went. All right, so I cleaned everything out ran hot water through it, dried it out overnight, and then uh, got everything reattached here. I've got the propane back on, and I'll just show you guys what's going on. Um, that seemed to clean the burner up really well, but I actually think it is this copper piece that's more the problem. All these tiny holes in there, even though I soaked it uh, overnight in acetone, I just could not get a bunch of those holes unclogged. And turn this thing on. So I don't know, it might be hard to see, but on this side where the holes were unclogged pretty well, it's burning pretty well through there. And then this side where I couldn't get holes in there unclogged, it's still still not much flame on this side. So I'm actually gonna replace that piece with the one on, uh, this is on my mash tun burner. I never use this burner. I don't heat up my mash tun ever with direct flame. So I'm gonna rob that, throw it over here, and uh, then I'll see what happens. All right, so I went ahead and replaced this. And yeah, that was definitely the main problem of why this burner wasn't running well. Uh, I'll turn it on for you. And yeah, a lot of yellow flame. Once I get a pot on there, uh, it should burn better with some something on top. But uh, you can see that whole ring is on fire. Uh, that's gonna burn just like it used to when this thing was new. So happy with that. I uh, hope that was helpful for somebody, and uh, yeah, cheers. Hopefully, solve the problem.